Hello our most valued student, my name is Confident. Welcome to our revision of the Mathematics N3 question paper that was written in November 2020 and we have already looked at the first two questions and some approaches that you, sh you could have uh, used um, if you were the candidate then but remember this is for your revision if uh, and it is actually suitable for students who are about to write their final exams. So I'll encourage you to grab hold of the previous two lessons and uh, it can give you some great tips and some strategies on how you can approach this. Now let us look at question number three and question number 3.1 is a word problem. Uh, it is common to get a question out of between three to five marks, which is a word problem. So is this question. Now let us look at this question. It says a shop specializes in selling bicycles and tricycles. The bicycles in the shop have two wheels. So that is one part. And the tricycles have three wheels. There are three times as many bicycles in the shop as there are tricycles. There are a total of 162 wheels. And then the question says, determine the number of bicycles and the number of tricycles currently in the shop. So that is that part. So we will start with the bicycles. We're going to say, let that number, the number of bicycles And then we'll say let it that number be equal to x and also we are going to say let the number of tricycles be equal to y so that is what we have actually um we're taking a stance a stance there to say let the bicycles be x and let the tricycles be equal to y now we need that we need to change these statements that were given here into equations. The first statement that uh, looks easier first it says there are three times as many bicycles in the shop as there are tricycles. So which means if we have got x bicycles, remember, let me form that equation. If we have s bicycles, that x, x bicycles to balance with the number of tricycles you must take the number of tricycles which is y and multiply by three so that they can be equal because they say there are three times as many bicycles in the shop as there are tricycles so uh for example i'll erase if i've got two bicycles which means uh the tricycles will be three times the number of uh, the bicycles so it's three times so if i've got two bicycles it means i've got six tricycles in a way because the tricycles are three times so it will be three times two which will become a six so in this case we do not know the number of tricycles let me make it uh, like this if we've got two bicycles two bicycles it means for tricycles as i said it will be two times i mean it will be they say there are three times as many so it means the tricycles are three times so it's three times two bicycles which will be six now in this case we do not know the number of bicycles as i said we said that number is x and we do not know the number of tricycles we say that number will be y. Hence, when you form an equation, you are going to say the number of bicycles is equal to y times 3. Then this equation will be x is simple equal to 3y. Then this becomes equation number 1. Then the next part, it says um, there are a total of 162 wheels. Now let us look at the part of the wheels. It says the bicycles in the shop have two wheels. Remember the bicycles represented by X. So which means the second equation, we have two wheels, two wheels of the bicycles, which is two times X. And then 
and the tricycles have three wheels plus three times y of the tricycles they are saying if you multiply these you'll get a total of 162 wheels you see that then that symbol becomes our equation two in this case now when you've done that it's a simultaneous equation and then you have to solve uh, for x and y so already we know our x our x is uh, 3y so where there is x we are going to uh, have our 3y there so in this case you're going to say um, 1 equation 1 into equation 2 so you are going to have in this particular case 2 times 3y because that is our x plus 3y is equal to 162 now 2 times 3y is 6y plus 3y is 162 and if you solve that you are going to have 9y is 162 you divide by 9 on both sides and you are having the value of y in this case as 162 divided by 9 or over 9 you can see that it is giving me 18 and then if i continue remember the second equation it say i mean the first equation says x is equal to 3y but now we know the value of y is 18 so x is equal to 3 into 18 so what is the value of x there 3 times 18 it is 54 now the question is um determine the number of bicycles and the number of tricycles currently in the shop so you can say let the number of bicycles equal to x which is equal to 54 bicycles and which is equal to 18 tricycles so that is how you could have actually answered that question so which means there are 54 bicycles and 18 tricycles remember if you say 18 times 3 you get the 54 they said there are three times as more bicycles than tricycles so you can see that we have got three times the number of bicycles compared to the tricycles. All right, let us look at question 3.2. The question 3.2 um, is out of uh, three marks. You can see that. And then it says, we are given, um, this is, uh, yes, it says T minus W is called to W over 2B. It says make W the subject. So we are looking at the subject of the formula. It is a common question which you also need uh, to always uh, understand the subject of the formula. It's a very important part. So now T minus W, uh, you can, what I can always advise you is when we are supposed to make W, you can see one W and the second W. Usually when it's like that, you are going to factorize somehow so let's work towards that so we have got t minus w is equal to w a over 2b we can say all over one here and then after that remove uh times 2b over one again on this side what you do on the left you we do on the right and then we multiply um let me just make it clear well and then we multiply on this side also by 2b i can just put my equal sign so we are going to multiply times 2b over 1 so that was one way another way that can be um suggested uh is to if i can just go back where I started is to do cross multiplication cross multiplication says this top multiplies the bottom and the other one also multiplies that 
So by cross multiplying, you are going to say 1 times WA, you are going to have WA in this case, is equal to 2B times T minus W in this case. So do you see what um, cross multiplying does? So basically that, was what gonna, that is what we are going to have. So you are going to have WA is equal to, then you open that particular bracket so that you have got 2BT minus 2BW and then you combine the W's together. In other ways, it must go and join that. So you are going to have WA from negative to become 2BW is equal to 2BT. Now, that's what I was telling you to say you factorize. Look at the focus just on the W because that's what you are you are interested in. So you can see that that particular W when you factorize, you'll have A plus 2B here is equal to 2BT. And then you can divide by that A plus 2B. And also here A plus 2B. So you can see therefore you are left with that W here is equal to and when you simplify it will be W is equal to 2BT over A plus 2B. So we have made W the subject of the formula. So this is also basic algebra and I'm not going to dwell much on that. There is another one again. It's an equation because it says we must solve for x. It is 3 marks. This section was out of 11 marks. So if we can bring this closer, we are supposed to solve for x and this is what we are given. And look at the left hand side and you look at the right hand side. In the left hand side it says 4 into that squared is equal to that. Now this is also the way testing your algebra here. So it's simple saying 4. Now the square means half minus 2 and again 1 over 2x minus 2. So that is what that square means is equal to x squared minus 4x and minus 8. And then after that you need to expand and uh, remember the expansion that multiplies this multiplies this multiplies and that multiplies for now you maintain your four and then after that you say half times half um if you say half times half it will be one over four x squared and then half times minus two you are going to get just for the calculator sake here but it's minus one so you have got half of two times negative 2 you can see that is giving you negative 1 so you have got minus 1x again 2 times half which is negative 1x negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4 is equal to x squared minus 4x and it's minus 8 then after that okay I can actually continue and say add this whatever is in the these two you must add them which is minus 1x minus 1x is minus 2x plus 4 is equal to in this case x squared minus 4x and it's minus 8. And then with that part you can now expand or distribute the 4 there and distribute the 4 there so it's expansion in a way and then it will simply become 4 times 1 over 4 it is x squared 4 times negative 2 if 
it is actually a half negative half there so it's four times actually it's four times negative two is actually negative eight there so it is negative eight x and then four times four is positive 16 is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 8 then the simpler part there is for you simple to collect like terms and if you start collecting like terms you will have x squared the x will jump the equal sign to become negative x squared also and then minus 8x the negative 4 will become positive 4x and then is equal to take the numbers on one side which is already negative 8 and minus 16 like that so x squared minus x squared cancelled minus 4x plus 4 is negative 4x is equal to negative 8 negative 16 is negative 24 so we have that negative 24 you divide by negative 4 on both sides to solve for x so the negative will become positive now 4 into 24 is equal to 6 so in this case our x is equal to 6 remember i said you can always prove your answer how do you prove your answer you take your calculator now there are two sides of the equation you put the value of x on one side so 4 remember x here is equal to 6 so you start with the left hand side 4 into 1 over 2 times 6 minus 2 squared and we are getting a 4 on the left hand side you do the same thing on the right hand side so there is a 4 on the left hand side now the right hand side is remember x is equal to 6 so you are going to say um, 6 squared minus 4 6 minus 8 remember we am I doing right this is 6 squared here actually we are also getting a 4 so you can see that the left hand side gave me a 4 and the right hand side gave me a 4 so 4 is equal to 4 meaning L left hand side is equal to right hand side it means our value of x being 6 in this case it is correct now remember this was actually the last question of question number three and i hope it was of benefit to you but uh basically it wasn't a difficult uh question three you were able if you uh, did your practice well it is possible for you to score all those 11 marks now we have come to the end of our lesson Thank you.